Welcome back to the fourth annual Abolition Now Conference, where abolitionists from all over the country have come together to learn and to fellowship. Many of us would say we've all been activated by one call, and specifically one Bible verse in Proverbs. Proverbs 24.11 says, Rescue those that are being taken off to death. Hold back those that are stumbling to the slaughter. It's a stark reminder that this is God's commandment to us, not just a suggestion. But what does that look like to carry it out in practice? Rescue Those seeks to answer that question. Coverage of the fourth annual Abolition Now Conference and Abolition Day is brought to you by Bright Rider Media. We provide consistent professional communication with the outside world. Go to astormcomesrolling.com to check out our feature-length documentary on the rise and doctrine of abolitionism. Yeah, Rescue Those is here in Oklahoma. And it's an organization that exists to equip and educate the saints to obey the word of Christ to rescue those who are being led to slaughter in our land. And that's... Uh, particularly, we're seeking to say, what does God's Word demand of us? Mm. And so we have a broad application. If, if you would ask, you know, what makes us unique uh, among the various entities? And I guess our uniqueness is in our breadth, that we're a holistic uh, kind of organization. We're looking at not just, um, you know, abortion mill ministry, but we're also, we are looking at that for sure. And we're trying to promote churches to go there and trying to strengthen the church towards those ends. Mm. Uh, but we're also looking at uh, legislation and coming alongside groups like Free the States and Liberty Rising to, as more Christians come into the movement, we just wanna, you know, rising water lifts all boats. Yeah. But we're also about finding out where there are gaps in in the, the efforts that are going on in abolition right now and filling those for the glory of Christ mm. uh, and for the joy of the church and, and for the rescue of the preborn. So like recently, uh, we just, I wrote a booklet on in vitro fertilization. Uh, we didn't see a, a, a good full orb approach to it. Um, mm. So we wanted to say, well, what does the scripture command of us regarding in vitro fertilization? Yeah. And We've done that. We have a, this booklet, How Can We Rescue Those Being Taken Away to Death? Yeah. That was a big need um, among the various uh, booklets and, and, and things that are out there. Um, we also uh, participated with Bright Rider yeah. uh, to produce a documentary that covers the, the story of the awakening of abolitionism in uh, Oklahoma and, you know, uh, so we're, we're trying just to be faithful and say, God, what do you want us to do? And where are there holes or gaps that we could, we could fill for your glory? Yeah. So um, as far as the roadmap, like where are you all wanting to go? Um, if you have all the resources in the world, where do you want to take Rescue Those? Yeah. Well, we're interested in uh, turning some of our booklets into Spanish uh, to provide Spanish resources. Um, we're also looking at producing more booklets. Uh, we've got another conference coming uh, this year in 2022. We uh, also are looking at creating more episodes or episodes yeah. with like a docu series with Bright Rider yeah. Media on various ethical issues and just tackling them and saying, what does God's word demand of us and what's going on out there right now and how, how must the church stand up and speak to the injustices that are going on. And really, we're trying to awaken the church. We think that God is doing a powerful work and we just want to come alongside Him and see Jesus footstool His enemies yeah. and those enemies turn into His beloved saints uh, and, and we get to have the joy of seeing the work of God and reviving through repentance and then going out and bearing fruit in keeping yeah. with repentance. So where can people go to help out? How can people help out? Yeah, uh, rescuethose.com is where you can go. There, um, there's a page there where you can donate. You can buy t-shirts and hoodies, and you can buy the documentary. You can buy our booklets. We're, we're all you know, self-supporting here. Mm -hmm. So 
the money just goes to being able to produce more of these types of materials to educate for the sake of mobilizing the church to engage. Yeah, because this time. isn't a parachurch organization, it's a multi-church organization. Yeah, yeah, right? it, there's just, um, right now it's elders from two churches, right. from the church where I pastor, Grace Community Church of Elgin, and where Brett Baggett pastors, Ecclesia and Muskogee. So it's just a, a couple churches, you know, working towards this. Awesome. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you, bro.